Hi everybody, thanks for watching. So, I couldn't take the peer pressure anymore. I finally jumped on the bandwagon and I went ahead and I ordered the set of the low noise propellers from DJI. Now, as of the making of this video, there are 4,470 videos about these propellers, but not a single one of them tests what I'm gonna test out today. So let's get to it. Okay, so nearly every video that I watched, I didn't watch all 4,000 of them, but every one of them that I watched tests the volume difference between the regular Mavic Pro propellers and the low noise propellers from DJI, which are actually meant for the Mavic Pro Platinum, but everyone's buying them for the Mavic Pro and testing them out. And on a few of these videos, some of the guys test out the gimbal vibration. You know, there's been some complaints of their footage being shaky because of gimbal vibration from the new props and a few of them test out the duration of flight when you compare them with the regular props for the Mavic Pro. And the thing is about these videos, at least the ones that I've watched, I haven't really seen any mind-blowing differences between the Mavic Pro regular props and the new Platinum props. Now the question that I've been asked by a few of you and one that I've really been curious about myself, if you put the new low noise props on your Mavic Pro, will you be able to fly your Mavic Pro faster? And also I want to dig in a little bit deeper on the flight time comparison between the regular props and the low noise props. So let's get the Mavic up and conduct some testing. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna use the regular props. Now, today's the perfect day to conduct this test because we have absolutely no wind and that's really rare, so it's a great day to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of runs with the Mavic Pro regular props. I'm gonna do it in regular mode and then I'm gonna do a run in sport mode and we're gonna see what our maximum speed is. So let's get it up. Okay, we're gonna take it up to about 200 feet I'm going to go ahead and fly straight ahead. I'm going to put full throttle on it and see what our maximum speed gets up to. Okay, we're running right around 20 miles per hour, maybe 20 and a half miles per hour. So I went out about a thousand feet. Let's turn around and come back this way. Okay, so it looks to be about the same, about 20.6 miles per hour. I'll have to check it out when I do my editing, but I think we're at about 20 and a half miles per hour. So let's go ahead and do that run again. But let's flip it into sport mode. Right hand side of your controller right there. Flip it up. And we are now in sport mode. It gives you the warnings about responsiveness and braking distance and all that. All right, still at 200 feet. We're gonna go ahead and full throttle. Okay, it looks to be around 37 miles per hour. And we'll turn around and come back home. And we got it up to about 39 miles per hour. So I'm gonna bring the Mavic Pro back down. I'm gonna put on the new low noise props and we're gonna see how fast we can get this thing to go. Okay, so we're at 200 feet. Let's go full throttle. Looks like we're averaging around 18, 9, 19. There we hit 20. Okay, let's bring it back. And 20.6, 20.8. Okay, so it looks like in regular mode, it's about the same. At first I thought it was going to be a little bit slower, but it kind of caught up a little bit there, and I think we hit 20.6 miles per hour. So let's try it in sport mode now. Flick that up. All right, full throttle on sport mode. Thirty-four point eight, thirty-five point seven looks like the highest. And let's bring it back. And it looks like thirty-nine point eight was the highest that we got. Now the next thing that I want to check out is flight time. Is the flight time extended on the regular Mavic Pro with the new low noise propellers on it? Now there's some videos that show 
that there's a little bit of increase in flight time, but all of them simply have the Mavic Pro hovering. And what they do is they time it while it's hovering. And actually, I don't think, you know, that's not a bad test, but I don't think that's a really accurate test. You know, who sits there and lets their Mavic Pro hover for 20 minutes? Nobody. So what I want to do is I want to fly around a little bit. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set a waypoints mission and I'm going to make it kind of a lengthy one and want to see how much percent battery it takes to run that waypoint mission with the regular propellers and with the new low noise propellers. So let's run that test. So I went ahead and I put the original props the back. The waypoint has been updated. Please check it on the map. Excuse me. <laughs> I went and put the regular props back on the Mavic Pro. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run the waypoint mission and you can see right here we have a hundred percent battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Mavic up, start the waypoint mission and we're gonna see what percent of battery is left. And we're gonna put the speed all the way up to 22.4 miles per hour. So here we go. Okay, mission complete, and it looks like we are at 76%. So let's bring it back down, put the new props on, and see what happens. All right, so we got the new props on again, and let's go ahead and run the waypoint mission. And as you can see, we have a fully charged battery to run this one too, so let's check it out. mission is complete and we are at 75 percent battery so that actually took just a little bit more battery to complete the mission you know for my test it looks like your flight time is actually a little bit less with the new propellers on there just so I don't feel left out from the crowd I'm gonna check the noise difference between the regular props for the Mavic Pro and the low noise props I don't have an official uh, noise checker measure so I actually <laughs> made my own so let's check it out Okay, so let's put the new props on and see what my official noise measure says. Okay, so keep in mind that's not an official measurement, but my point being that four decibels, yeah, it's kind of nice but is it really that big of a difference? Now, if you need new props, then sure, they're actually not much more than the regular props. And so if you're needing some new props for your Mavic Pro, go ahead and buy those. But I wouldn't buy them just because you wanna have a quieter drone. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about today, you guys, is I kinda of have a little rant towards DJI. Guys, you are a $10 billion company. Last year, you made $1.5 billion dollars you can do some amazing things and you've done some amazing things but you keep feeding us all these little improvements you know the mavic pro platinum you know kind of nice but really it's just a mavic pro with a little quieter props on it and maybe a little bit extra battery life and then you give us the low noise propellers and that's kind of nice but really not spectacular and now you have a stunning white mavic pro you know it's just another marketing tool and that's great but enough of the pacifying we want something super cool and so I have a couple of suggestions for you so my first one is if you really want to give us a quiet drone on this side of the controller I would like to see a little button that says stealth mode and then on this side of the controller instead of having sport mode I think we should have something like flux capacitor or 
warp speed or something like that. You guys are capable of doing so much. And although we appreciate everything that you do, you keep feeding us all these little nuggets. And honestly, I just want you to blow our mind. So show me what you can do. So that's all I have for today's video for you guys. Hopefully I provided you with some valuable information or I entertained you in some way. If I did, please consider clicking on the thumbs up button, that like button. Please comment below any questions that you have about the tests that I did today or anything at all. And finally, if you're not subscribed and you're just passing through checking out this channel, please consider clicking on that subscribe button and joining this community. I wanna thank you guys sincerely for watching and as always, fly safe and fly smart.